activists have accused Iran's morality police of beating a girl for not wearing a hijab and posted a photo purportedly showing her in a coma. Armita Juravand, 16, collapsed after boarding a Tehran metro train at Shohada station on Sunday. Officials said she fainted and released CCTV footage in which she is seen being pulled unconscious from the train. Human rights group Heng alleged that she was subjected to a severe physical assault by morality police officers. It said Armita was being treated at Tehran's Fajr hospital under tight security and that the phones of all members of her family had been confiscated. On Monday, authorities briefly detained a female journalist for the Shark newspaper who went to the hospital to report on the case. Hang on, which focuses on Iran's Kurdish ethnic minority, said on Tuesday afternoon that Armita lived in Tehran but was originally from the predominantly Kurdish western province of Kermanshah. She was physically attacked by authorities at Shohada station for what they perceived as non-compliance with the compulsory hijab, it added. As a result, she sustained severe injuries and was transported to the hospital. Two prominent rights activists also told Reuters news agency that there was a confrontation with agents enforcing the strict dress code. Amsterdam-based Radio Zaman meanwhile cited an unnamed source as saying that the teenager was pushed by hijab enforcers after she got onto the train without a headscarf and that she hit her head on an iron pole. On Tuesday night, Henga posted on X formerly known as Twitter, what it said was a photo of Armita unconscious in hospital. The picture, whose authenticity the BBC could not immediately verify, shows a girl with short hair lying on her back in a bed with a bandaged head and attached to what appears to be a breathing tube. The rights group also said it had received information indicating that Armita's parents had been interviewed by the state news agency, Erna in the presence of high-ranking security officers under considerable pressure at Fajr Hospital. Ernest cited Armita's mother as saying that they had seen the CCTV footage and accepted that what happened on Sunday was an accident. I think my daughter's blood pressure dropped, I am not too sure, I think they have said her pressure dropped, her mother states in a heavily edited video posted by Erna. The managing director of the Tehran Metro, Masood Dorosti also denied that there was any verbal or physical conflict between Armita and passengers or Metro executives. Some rumors about a confrontation with Metro agents are not true and CCTV footage refutes this claim, he told Derna. The footage is said to show Armita, with her hair uncovered, walking onto a train at the platform with two other girls. Moments later, one of the girls backs out of the train and bends down. She and several other passengers are then seen carrying an unconscious Armita by her arms and legs before laying her down on the platform.